Max, when I want to do the startup, do I need a friend? Oh, I think you need lots of friends okay. to do that. <laughs> yeah. um, they need to help you with the work, there's lots of work. Okay. They need also, they need to give you the, the, the expertise, you know, I mean, somebody that develops the product, somebody who's good with finance, somebody who's good with marketing. Okay. Yes, you need a lot of friends. Uh, how about partners? Uh, business partners yes. you would need for financing reasons because okay. they may be able to contribute funds. Okay. Um, but um, as important, you want their expertise. You know, may okay. have a colleague that's a lawyer, so you get the legal expertise. You okay. may have one that's in marketing. You get that expertise. So for expertise yeah. as well as for funding, yeah. and probably for mental support, so they oh, can okay. encourage you to, you know, together uh -huh. bring this thing to, to fruition. Okay. I saw some startups uh, 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 formed by two people, some are three, some are five, yeah? Actually, what is the roles of those? What do you need? I mean, the CFO, CEO, or...? That's, that's a very good question. Usually, yeah. I think startups start out uh -huh. by having a great idea, Okay. Um, and that is often a technical idea. Not okay. necessarily, but often. And so quite often the original founders, they come out of technology. Okay. And they sit together and think of a way mm -hmm. they can uh, produce their product, which is techn technology related. Okay. Right? And then at some point they find, yes, uh, we can actually get or do a product that works and does what it needs to do. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, how do we market it? Because nobody knows that the product exists. Yeah. And then they need new people. They need marketing skills. But mm -hmm. the two technology people maybe didn't have the marketing skills. Mm -hmm. And so they're trying to get somebody else in that can do the marketing. Okay. Now there are three people, maybe sometime you need operational things, you need processing things, you need paying bills. Uh, may, you may even need to hire additional skills. Okay. Right. And so then you may need somebody that is good with people and processes and organizational things. Yeah. And so your team grows. Okay. And every time it grows, it also gets richer on skills. And okay. it becomes a company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually in business, when you start a business, in the first uh, step, start with two or three people as an owners. They're already thinking about how you are going to split the profit, if you have a profit. Yeah, that's a question. Uh, how about the startup? I mean, they start with, okay, we think about it later. Now is the spirit, or, or what is the, yeah. the ideal one to... Well, to I can do? tell you is my own experience how that can work, and quite often it does work like yeah. that. Um, two people, two friends usually have a, an idea, um, and they sit down over a beer or so and, and discuss that idea, and they say, let's, let's try do this. And, it, nobody wants to think about money, nobody wants to think about chairs. Yeah. The question is, can we create what we need to create? At some point in time, there's real hours going into yes. it, and you may even pay some money to advertise the thing, to put it on the web, whatever. Uh, maybe even to hire some people that can do what the two original founders came to. Yeah. And then as you start putting money in, maybe everybody puts a few thousand in, the other one puts a few thousand in, and that's the point where you start thinking, say, okay, I spend 10 hours every day on this, uh -huh. and uh, I put in $2,000, he put in $5,000, but I spent double as much work as he, yeah. now who should own what hard? And every time somebody else comes into the yeah. team, the team gets bigger, yeah. you've got to give up a few shares. The 50-50 becomes a 30-30-30, yes. becomes a 4 times 25, or and so yes. forth. So the shares get smaller, mm -hmm. but the cake gets bigger and more bigger. valuable. Oh, that's a good principle. If things go the if way. Go right. Otherwise, it just gets the oh. opposite way. Or you have a fight in the middle. Well, and that fight usually <laughs> does happen when new people come in. Right? Yeah, yeah, uh, how much yeah. are they getting? Yeah, yeah, how yeah. much is expected of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there any uh, wisdom that we have to think regard that? Um, yes, I think whenever you get people into a startup team, um, there's got to be good reason. You don't do that just out of fun because you got to give up parts of what you already put in. Yeah. Two people in, then everybody say has 50%, now a third one comes in. Mm -hmm. The rule would be that the 250% or two times 50% has been split up in three times 33%. Right? And that's not the end of the game. Of course, then you got a third person, yeah. a third opinion, yeah. and it's difficult to get three opinions aligned than two. Yes. And next time is another person, 
That means your share is going to go down, uh -huh. and there's a fourth opinion, and then a fifth opinion, and you do that with 10 people. you got a team, and you got to manage this very differently. Yeah. you got to have a good reason to get people on your team, mm -hmm. and the reasons are that um, you, you want the skills, mm -hmm. you want the contributions, you've got to be actively contributing to it, mm -hmm. and you like them as a person. Mm -hmm. If either one of them is not true, they're not bringing in good skills, or they don't want to work, or you don't respect them as a person, okay, okay. I would not do it. Okay, okay. Okay, now it's time for me to find my friends then. All right. Don't think about the split of the money if we succeed. Exactly. <laughs> a good way to move forward. Okay, thank you, Max. Thank you.